Guys, before I start this video, I really wanna ask you something important to do for me. Please, if you know anybody that is trying to get huge, that wants to be big as fuck, or even if you know a guy that's big as fuck, send this video to him, tag this on your Instagram, whatever. Tag your friends in it. This video is going to help a lot of people, so please share this video. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's episode. Today's video is for people that want to get big as fuck. What I'm going to tell you is the main ingredients that you need to get huge. And by ingredients, I'm talking about steroids. I'm talking about hormones, the exact things that you need to take that will get you to where you want to go the fastest. So that is what I'm going to share with you today, but first, I gotta cook some food. Now before I go into all of this, you must understand that there are more things involved in this whole thing than just drugs. I mean, if you guys have been watching my videos for a little while now, you would see that most of my videos take place in the kitchen with me cooking because that's what I do all damn day is cook and eat and cook and eat. and. Number one, it doesn't matter how many drugs you take, if you're not eating enough food, you will not grow. Plain and simple. If you're not eating, if you're not getting in the calories, you will not be big. Number two, the second most important thing. If you do not train properly, if you do not train hard, if you don't go to failure, you will not get huge. Number three, if you're not recovering, if you're not getting sleep, if you're not resting, if you're not getting seven to eight hours of sleep a night, if you're not taking rest days, you will not get huge. All right, so the fourth thing in this equation is your drugs. You will not get huge if you are constantly using Trenbolone, Anavar, Winstrol, Halo testing, you're not going to get huge on those. You're not. You're going to struggle. You're going, to, like, if you want to actually get 230, 240, 250, 260 pounds and not just be a fat slob, you have to use things other than Tren and Anavar. Like, I feel like those are the most popular steroids right now. Tren and Anavar because everybody's trying to get lean, trying to grow, grow lean and do that whole thing. No, the thing is get lean first through learning how to diet and eat properly and training properly and then grow. Get on the right drugs and grow. So the top four drugs for getting huge are testosterone, DECA, Anadrol, and D-Ball. That is it. That is all you need. Those four things. That's it. There's nothing else to it. I made this mistake for most of my usage career, if you want to call it that. I tried to stay as lean as possible and grow. I've used a ton of Trenbolone. I've used a ton of Anavar. Where did it really get me? It kept me around 200 pounds lean. It kept me looking like Greg Doucette. <laughs> um, but like a more, like Greg has a lot of that like mature muscle maturity because he's been doing this for a long ass time. But I was 200 pounds and I was very lean. And granted it was a great look, but it wasn't big by any means. All right, if you want to get big, and that's what you clicked on this video for, is to get big, or you just like my channel, you need to stop using Trenbolone. You need to stop using Anavar, Winstrol, those kinds of things. And you need to get on Test, and you need to get on DECA. Those two things are gonna be your base. You're going to grow on that. There was a cycle that a professional bodybuilder, not a top tier IFBB pro, but an IFBB pro working with George Farah, he accidentally posted his update pictures on Facebook. This happened a few years ago. He put his, he put his update post to George Farah on Facebook. With that, 
drug protocols and a GH15 forum member screenshotted that and sent it to us, it gave it to us so we could see and, you know, kind of back up what we have been saying on there. The dude's cycle was 1,250 milligrams of tests that was split up between uh, Scipionate and Sustanon, and then 600 milligrams of Deca. And then he had 50 milligrams every day of Anadrol. Like, that is what these guys use to grow and get big. Because number one, besides Anadrol, testosterone and Deca are not that hard on the liver and the kidneys. Like, Anadrol is, it's hard on the liver, but you can take enough Tudka to stay within a healthy range of, with your liver enzymes. Um, and you don't stay on Anadrol all the time. Like, Anadrol comes in and out every four to eight weeks, <clears throat> but it gets swapped out with D-Ball. So, but that's it, guys. Those are the drugs that you need if you want to grow. If you want to do a real bulk, if you want to grow lots of muscle, those are the drugs you need. Test, Deca, Anadrol, D-Ball. It's as simple as that. It, I mean, that's it. That's what you need. But don't start doing it until you are lean, until you know how to train properly, until you know how to eat properly, and until you're not partying in your 20s, and you're going to bed at a reasonable time, okay? You have to be getting plenty of sleep, you have to be getting plenty of food, and you have to be working out properly. Now, if you really wanna optimize everything, that's where things like HGH and insulin come in, but you can make plenty of progress without those. Like, I would say get to the 230, 240, 250 range before you start fooling around with HGH and insulin. But that's it. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need all these estrogen blockers. You don't need, you don't, you don't need any of that stuff. If you actually want to get big, you do not need any of that stuff. By the way, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a hormone specialist. These are just my experiences. Don't do anything that I say or do because um, that decision is totally up to you. Anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder. And I will see you all Monday.